Hi, welcome to World Recapped. In today's video I will explain a film based on a true story of how a six-year-old boy lost his parents and was rescued by the Russian army. He led the army to World War II, and went through all the ranks to become the world's youngest warrior ever. The movie begins in Russia, where a family is sitting by a river enjoying their time together. The youngest kid, Sergei Ilyashkov, bragged to his older brother and mom about being up in a tree. Suddenly, German fighter jets flew overhead. The mom told the kids to hide in the busha but brave six-year-old Sergei wasn't scared. He used a catapult to hit the jets and they exploded. But when he looked around, his family was gone. Sergei woke up from this wild dream, calling for his mom. Just then, someone knocked on his door. He thought it was his mom, but it was a neighbor lady who looked really worried. She thanked God that Sergei was alive and told him that his mom and brother were dead. Poor Sergei couldn't understand what she meant and wanted to stay in the house, waiting for his mom. But the lady said the Germans had attacked, and he needed to run away. Soldiers were coming to their house. She made Sergei escape through the window, but she got shot and didn't make it. Little Sergei found himself all alone after his family disappeared during the chaos. He ran away from his burning neighborhood, calling for his mom but she was nowhere to be found. Lost in the woods, he desperately cried out for her. That night Sergei stayed in the jungle, scared and hungry. The next morning, he was drinking water from a river when he noticed enemy soldiers approaching. Knowing they were dangerous, he hides in the roots of a tree. Even when a snake startled him, he didn't run or make a sound. The soldiers ate by the riverside and left, so Sergei went and took their leftover food to survive. But he was exhausted. No proper meals for two days? And he had no idea where he was going. But still he kept walking. He saw wild berries and rushed to eat them, but suddenly he heard an explosion behind him. So he became dizzy and started hallucinating, but he bravely told someone he had a rifle and wasn't scared. Then he collapsed. As he slept, two soldiers found him. In the next scene in a Russian army base, Commander Kuznetsov waited for his patrol soldiers. They brought in the weak injured kid. When they claimed they were on his side, Sergei introduced himself. The soldiers laughed, suggesting he introduce himself to the commander too. Sergei found himself surrounded by soldiers who cared for him. They made sure he drank water and ate. Even the usually stern commander looked after him. In the next scene, a nurse called Katya is attending to the little boy's wounds. She dressed Sergei's wounds and was charmed by the boy's personality. The kid even asked her to draw a tank on his wounds because he wanted to be a soldier when he grew up. The injured soldiers talked to Sergei and felt better. He was fascinated by the commander's gun and badge. The commander answered all his questions and even let him play with an honorary pistol with the bullets removed. Sergei proudly showed the tank drawn on his stomach, boasting about being a soldier himself. His healing was quick. Katya asked the commander to let Sergei stay with the battalion but he disagreed, thinking it wouldn't be safe. He wanted to send Sergei to an orphanage. But the soldiers spent all their free time with him, treating him like family. They brought him food from their families and let him play with their binoculars. One day, a soldier asked the commander to let Sergei stay with them. The soldiers had grown attached to the kid and considered him their own. His presence eased the weight of war. However, the commander insisted on sending him to an orphanage for the boy's safety. The next day, enemies attacked and many soldiers were hurt. A vehicle arrived to take Sergei to the orphanage. The commander gave him a wooden honorary pistol as a gift. But Sergei hugged him worried about the commander's safety. But the commander changed his mind because nobody was worried about his safety, so he asked Sergei to stay with them as his son. That night, the soldiers searched through the uniforms and found small soldier clothes for Sergei, because they were thrilled to have Sergei with them. The next day the commander visited Sergei and surprised him with the clothes the soldiers provided for him. He wore the clothes and ran around, looking like a real soldier. They called him their little soldier boy. But suddenly the enemies attacked them again. So someone quickly shielded Sergei. The number of injured soldiers grew. Sergei wanted to help, so he brought water to thirsty soldiers. Then a soldier asked him to read a letter because he had a bandage over his eyes. Sergei made up a story about the soldier's cow being safe back home which is not what was written. But the soldier played along, and they all laughed. Other soldiers insisted he read their letters. So he continued to lift everyone's spirits by reading their letters in his own special way. Meanwhile, Katya and the commander shared a quiet moment. The two seem to be attracted to each other but do not confess their feelings. Sergei, feeling like a true part of the battalion, took on the role of an orderly with pride. Tragedy struck when Sergei saw the devastation of the attack, and the commander taught him the solemn act of honoring a fallen soldier. Eager to help, Sergei was tasked with delivering letters, 
which he did with such joy that he even got the soldiers to dance. The next day, Sergei goes a little far from the base with his binoculars. As he is playing with it, he sees someone's leg moving from inside a haystack. He rushes back to the battalion and tells the soldiers about his findings. The soldiers are skeptical, but go with the boy anyway. When they reach near the haystack, they are alerted to see two German spies hiding underneath. The spies are arrested, and the kid is praised for his intelligence. That night, the commander presented Sergei with adoption papers, making their bond official. Sergei, aware of the commander's affection for Katya, encouraged him to confess his feelings. But a misunderstanding arose when they saw Katya with another man. The base came under attack once more, and Sergei bravely assisted by supplying ammunition. However, he was ordered to safety as the danger escalated. In the shed, panic ensued when communication was lost. Sergei followed a soldier attempting to repair the lines but found him gravely injured. With instructions from the dying soldier, Sergei managed to restore the connection, calling in reinforcements and saving the day. By the river, the commander finally declared his love to Katya, asking her to be the mother to Sergei. Overjoyed yet speechless, their moment was interrupted by news of their dispatchment. The next day, on their way, they come across a minefield that blows off of their vehicle. The commander is hurt while the group's orderly, who Sergei was close with dies in the explosion. Tears streaming down his face, Sergei hugged the commander tightly. Together, they helped the wounded and continued their journey to the new base. Upon arrival, they were greeted by the general, who was impressed by Sergei's bravery and smartness. The division received a guard's banner, and Sergei was also honored with a badge symbolizing his promise to protect his country. Suddenly, tragedy struck one night when their base was viciously attacked, leaving the commander trapped under a huge tree. Sergei, desperate to save his father, called for help, and the soldiers managed to rescue the commander. The next day, Sergei with bandaged hands from his rescue efforts, stood by the commander's side, now a vital member of the team. Without a family of his own, Sergei's bond with the soldiers grew stronger as they faced the war together. The film concluded with the regiment moving to yet another base, and Sergei's incredible journey, including his participation in the Battle of Stalingrad and reaching Poland. He was acknowledged as the world's youngest soldier, Sergei's tale of heroism echoed around the globe. Subscribe, turn on notifications, and like the video to support the channel, ending with a heartfelt, thanks for watching.